What's going on, Attack Squad? It's your boy Roman Aki, Mr. Enemy343. And today, I wanted to just thank you guys for helping me get to 300 subscribers. And as a way to show my appreciation for helping me hit this milestone, I'll be sharing my top 20 waifus of anime. Of course, this was actually originally based on the top 10 waifus made by Maggie Negan, TWD Fangirl27. She's the one who actually made a top 10 list of the waifus of her favorite choices. So, I figured I'd actually would take that, but add an additional 10 waifus. So, with uh, without further ado, let's get into it. And coming in at number 20, we have Maka All Barn from Soul Eater. Now, you might be thinking, Mr. A, why do you actually have Maka so low on your list? Well, this is a top... This is a top 20 list, meaning these ladies have a special place in my heart. And Maka is no exception, because she's actually earned that spot in my heart. And, you know, it's a pretty tough place for me to start, since there are girls that actually have, you know, special places in my heart. So, what actually makes me love Maka is how, she, how smart she is, how she's actually capable of actually fighting and, of course, you know, how much she can actually put up with the uh, freaking soul, her partner, a.k.a. her weapon. It, she always actually does her infamous maca chop where freaking, if you go and piss her off, she'll actually take a spot <laughs> hit you right in the head with it. Now it's to the next girl, number 19. Sinon from Sora Online. Look, I know there are a lot of haters series out there, but here's the thing. I find that Sino is just this beautiful and a badass gamer since I found her during the Phantom Bullet arc, which is actually, you know, the GGO arc of uh, Season 2. And the sad thing is, she accidentally killed someone using a gun IRL. And that's why she always actually has, like, these conniptions and PTSD moments. Whenever she actually holds a gun. And she... She still actually feels that pain. You know. Whenever she's actually holding a gun. But what makes her so special is... How capable she's actually using... Like... A freaking... A digitized weapon in a virtual reality type video game. And that's what actually makes her so special. Alright, now it's in the next girl. Number 18, Mikasa Ackerman from Attack on Titan. Of course, that it seems actually a very jacked waifu who's willing to slay titans while looking beautiful despite how many people keep spewing nonsense about the anime or the characters. I still consider Mikasa as my personal waifu of choice. Because she's actually capable of actually knowing how to handle herself in combat. And, oof. Yeah. She is freaking jacked, shredded, and just absolutely beautiful to boot. Okay, next girl. Number 17. Chika Fujiwara from Kaguya-sama Love is War. She has a really nice body and she's in afraid of Shaw for her personnel. Heck, I even have a doujinji of Chika, even though it's a Japanese, but it's still awesome to look at, and I gotta say, it's actually a little bit naughty, if you actually know what I mean, because if you ever see the live streams that I do, I usually pretty much actually show off the parts where uh, Chika is actually doing it with some random dude. Oh, man. And also, let's not forget, like, her little end credit sequence where she's actually dancing around to the credits and that actually just became an official meme really just love that just mwah. another beautiful lady books now number 16 race grammar from high school dxd and to those who didn't think that a girl from high school DxD was wasn't going to be on this list, you are sadly mistaken. I really enjoyed high school DxD, but it seems that the VA of Reyes was just so much of a bad person. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. That's why she. That's why she draws so low on my list. Even though I'm willing to separate the art from the artist, which everyone should do. And she is really just an awesome character. And I actually watch in the subs over the dubs these days because Reese actually definitely is such a beautiful character. And she just really knows how to actually take care of someone, even me. <laughs> Moving on. Number 15. Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Ochako Uraraka, Mina Ashido, Momo Yayorozu. Nejere Hado and Sagiyama from My Hero Academia. This is where the stipulation comes in. These ladies all share a spot in my heart. Ochako actually has the looks and a zero gravity quirk. Mia, even though she's just as beautiful and she is pink, she also actually uses acid. Momo can create anything. Nejere can make freaking shockwaves. And, of course, Rumi Mirko Usagiyama is actually a badass rabbit. And for that, those special little ladies from My Hero Academia have a certain place in my heart. On to the next one. Number 14. Nezuko Kamado and Mitsuri Konroji from Demon Slayer. Nezuko has been getting a lot of flack for social media, along with me as well, because of the hot spring scene in the manga, but Nezuko having a blown up body for actually being such a little girl, that's actually what makes it so freaking popular. Heck, I even actually got figurines of them, and I actually even showed them off. And heck, oh my god, these people just really know how to actually rile up stupidity when it comes to people who stand Japanese anime. <sighs> but still, these ladies deserve to have a place in my top 20 list, since Nezuko is helping her brother Tanjiro in Mitsuri. He's actually one of the Hashira. Oh, now this is actually becoming a bit of a blast from the past. Number 13. Asia Clan Clan from Outlaw Star. Okay, I'll admit this. I had a huge crush on this particular girl because she looked like she could be a total badass. And she is so... She is so damn sexy with her. Okay, I just had a crush on her. And she's actually so beautiful with her massive boobas and her unwavering strength. Oh, and in fact, I noticed that a certain somebody will actually try to draw kick my happy ass for actually adding her into the list as well, since they're actually just as much interested in Asia Clan Clan as I am. But anyway, moving on. Number eighties from Cat Plant Kitties. Okay, I will admit I do have a thing for cat girls, and I really don't give a flying fuck if Jeff Thu, aka Mother's Disappointment, <coughs> excuse me, Mother's Basement, says that they're the equivalent of a certain thing we won't mention in this video, I think cat girls are actually considered sex ladies. <sighs> but this is just a disgrace to the anime community. But back to Eris. I really enjoyed her personality, and she's one of those funny cat girls she is capable of fighting as well. Also, she has a personality for being such a beautiful Neko waifu. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what Neko is, it's a cat, which is actually Japanese for cat. And yeah, she's a cat girl. So, number 11. <laughs> oh, the trio from Konosuba. Or as I like to call them, the Misfit, the Misfit Trinity. <laughs> First you got the Explosion Loli Megumin, the Big Titted Masochist, Darkness, and of course the Useless Goddess, as Rez Estes calls her, the Blue Thing, aka 
The anime speaks for itself. It's actually a satire on the isekai anime genre and having three of the most useless characters and the biggest schmuck of a protagonist <laughs> being Cosmo of all people. Oh god, I am just having too much fun with this shit. I can admit, this is actually just all fucking good fun. <sighs> But the series is just so much fun to watch, along with the waifus. And now we're only halfway through the list, and I just want to make things extremely... I want to say that making this list was extremely difficult. This is a top 20. And if I didn't add any waifus, I'm sorry. I'm just going by my personal taste in anime. Now back to the list. Number 10. Asuka, Rei, Mari, and Misato... Neon Genesis Evangelion. I mean, I still hold Evangelion, and I mean the original version, not the Netflix version, close to my heart. I mean, I even have figurines of Asuka and Rey as part of my collection. And let's not forget how badass they were when it comes to fighting angels and saving Earth while looking good. Ooh, baby. These ladies definitely know how to freaking bring the heat when it uh when it comes to fighting. Alright. Number 9. This was a bit tricky for me, so bear with me here. This is what I like to call the waifu trike. You got Maki Oze, Tami Kisuo, and Princess Ibana from Fire Force. I definitely want to breed with these ladies and give them my children. But I'm seriously getting my, getting ahead of myself here. I mean, who wouldn't want to have a masculine mama in bed with them? Or even a twin-tailed cat who always seems to have a thing for stripping? Or even a powerful nun treating you as her personal plea thing? I know, I would with all three of those ladies. <laughs> oh, basically, I just actually love those three ladies. It's just so beautiful. But the anime just seems to get so much flack. It's sort of... Because... People are always saying that fan service in anime is misogynistic. Fire Force actually just brings about the freaking toxic male gaze and shit like that. And pff, it's actually just absolutely ridiculous, guys. Anyway, back to the list. Number 8. Ryoko Matoi and Satsuki Kiryuin from Kill la Kill. Something about these two girls just shows how great they walk being in skiffy clothing and looking good kicking ass, they definitely deserve a spot in this list. Because, heck, even though they're actually both older sister, younger sister, older sister, you know, with uh, Ryoko actually being the younger sister and Sasuke being the older sister, spoiler alert, if anybody has not seen the anime, you've got to check it out. Hands down, that show is totally awesome. And I totally would recommend checking it out if possible. Number 7. Saiko Busujima, Saya Takagi, and Shizuka Marikawa, High School of the Dead. Now this series is short and ended off on a cliffhanger because the writer Daisuke Sato passed away. We'll never know how, how the series ends. But the series does have... A lot of high wife is in this series, even though some of them end up as zombie fodder. But nevertheless, these girls are just as beautiful as they are badass. Seiko Busujima is actually the big titted swordswoman who actually managed to actually dodge a bullet from actually, you know, going through her breasts because of, you know, jiggly anime physics when freaking Takeshi actually fired a fire a right and saw the boobas actually freaking bouncing around. Oh, 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 oh. and she is also a character with a katana as well. And also, Saya might be a bit annoying at the beginning, but she kind of grew on me as a character, and she can also handle herself when it comes to the hordes of the undead. And Shizuka is a bit of an airhead, but she knows her way around medicine and is a worthy member of the team as well. Six. Michiru from BNA. 
I mean, yeah, having free waifus doesn't technically mean that you're free. And also, I know DD the Sinner is still waiting on Netflix to release the season two of BNA. And Mitra has a lot of skills and abilities that makes her so skilled as a waifu, including her body. Number five, what do you make in a way? Bleach. Now I know there's a lot to be said about giving me the stink about stink eye about this choice, but she's always had a soft spot in my heart. And almost had the Ichihime ship cannon because Orihime almost kissed Ichigo me cannon. And she mentally proclaimed her love for Ichigo as well. That's showing how much she actually cares for him. And that for for that, she definitely earns us in my top twenty list of waifus. Number four. Sakura Harno Naruto. Don't get it twisted. As much as I like Hinata, my girl, even though in the first half she was useless, but she's been training and also making herself better. And for that, she's also been proving herself as well. So that she actually right here. Number three, Ratalia and Philo from Rising of the Shield Hero. Now, these two have been making ways for as long as I can remember when Shield Hero came out and these girls have proven themselves worthy as honorary members of my top 20 waifu list, showing that they are willing to fight for Naofumi since he can't be able to use other weapons besides the shield. And I just really want to say, these two ladies definitely know how to actually bring the heat when it is needed. So therefore, both Ratalia and Philo condolences, and they've actually earned the spot at number three. Number two, Manin Kitagwa, My Dress of Darling. Yeah, yeah, one of those animes on this list, but don't get me wrong here. These people to just shit on anime, including a waifu that is, and I quote, controversial, which is an understatement because... There is a subculture in the East that actually does that kind of thing. But having a couple friend is every otaku's dream come true. And Marine, she definitely knows how to actually be both beautiful and a great cosplayer. Oh, and for that, she's definitely earned my spot as number two. And before I unveil my number one pick, let's go through some honorable mentions, shall we? Kase Nagatoro. Don't tell me Miss Nas- Ms. Nagatoro. This chick is known for being a bully and a controversial waifu, but she does get an honorable mention. Masane Amaha, Witchblade. She has to change into a weapon, and she also has a nice body. Mary Jane Strauss, Fairy Tale. She is both beautiful along with D being a dangerous character. Toru, Kana, Lukua. This is Kobayashi's dragon maid. These dragons need love too, you know. Ramen Rem, Re Zero. Double your pleasure, double your fun with these twin owners. Even though Rem was rejected by Subaru, which I'll never forgive him for that one. Even after telling how he felt about her, she actually definitely deserves a spot there in the honorable mentions. Freya, Ella, Setsuna, Korea, and Eve, Redo Healer. These ladies definitely deserve love and admiration for what they have done, and Kiargo would kill me if I actually mess with those girls. And now it is time for the number one pick. Now, if anyone knows me, they should see this a mile coming. Drum roll, please. From Black Lagoon. Now, it's no surprise that JSAPIX4 has Koniko for a wife. And he calls himself freaking Koniko's hubby. Or Koniko's husband. So I said, it. So. I noticed, noticed that, and this just popped in my head. If Jay Senpai calls himself Koniko's husband or Koniko's hubby, 
when I call myself Remy's husband, and thus I did on my Twitter handle right after Mr. Anime343. I just actually had it in parentheses to actually let people know that I'm actually just doing this, trying to freaking that I actually really love Revy. And heck, I didn't actually have her as part of, as my uh, freaking as my profile pic on Twitter. Of course, there look there that say Revy's husband, that they're Revy's husband. But I'm the legit one since I have actually added her to my Twitter handle. And also, that's why I have <laughs> my official Revy Dakimura pillow. Isn't she beautiful? I actually had her custom made. Anyway. But what makes... Her my number one pick. She's a total badass, and she definitely knows how to hold her on a fight, along with being short tempered. And she, and she is still a freaking total bombshell. And sure, she smells like a chimney and drinks and swears like a sailor. But at the end of the day, I definitely would put a ring on her. Well, that's gonna do it for this list. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about like any waifus that I might have missed or if I actually haven't had a chance to per se add to this list but I'm actually wanted to give it a shot and if there's any I, like I said if there's any waifus that I missed this is my list i if anybody actually has any waifus that they want me to add in there, just let me know and I'll tell you what I think of them. And we'll go from there. Also, if you haven't yet, smash the like button, subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell for future updates. Also, if you want to support me financially, Ko-Fi and Patreon will be linked in the description as always. Just remember these three things, guys. Respect the waifus and fan service. Enjoy your fandoms. Enemies freedom. And until the next one, this is Mr. Enemy343 saying God, anime, mecha, and big titty waifu fucking speed.